everyone, I'm Elephants Are Tasty, and this is Donovan. He's back again for some more Ruby reactions. Uh, the amazing people at Rooster Teeth have blessed us, shut up, have blessed us with World of Remnants for like every day leading up to uh, Ruby Volume 4 premiere. And um, this one is about Mistral, it was uploaded yesterday, so we know like nothing about Mistral. Like, we know nothing about any kingdom except Vale. Like, we know, like, tiny tidbits about, like, every other kingdom. We don't know anything, really, about them. So hopefully this video will clear something up. Are you ready? Yep. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. Three, two, one, play! I'm excited. Mistral. I thought that was a weird gargle. Where were we? <laughs> I was like, what is this? Remnant's second largest landmass, Arnim. That's where you'll Wait, find what is the kingdom called? of Mistral. Arnim? Arnim? Of four kingdoms, Mistral has the most controlled territory, meaning you'll find a wider variety of ecosystems and lifestyles. Trust me, this place is something for everyone. Mm -hmm. Or better or worse. The they have lots of different topography. Folks of Mistral are known worldwide for their contributions to fashion, architecture, theater. All the things that make the world pretty and tolerable. So they're a very cultural the place. class has got a fame of its own. Mistral's home to the biggest black market on the planet. Need someone that's hard to find? Got someone that's hard to kill? They can help. Provided you've got the Lien to pay for it. There's one common thread that links all these people together, though. And that's their respect for nature, particularly the sea and the sky. The natural resources and geography of the area impacted Mistral's culture and technology in a big way. Because they're just surrounded by ocean everywhere. shelter high up in the wind-carved cliffs. And as their population grew, so did their ability to utilize the land to its fullest potential. A real bunch of forward thinkers. Of course, the bigger the kingdom, the harder it is to govern. There's a That's reason true. traders the and thieves flock to Mistral. The Roman the Empire. is right under the council's eye, sure, but places like Windpath and Kuchinashi start to get a little farther out of sight. Windpath and Kuchinashi? Of places to hide in Mistral. Kuchinashi? That's why you gotta know where you look. So, like, that was, I was trying to, like, focus a lot because we, like, know nothing about Mistral. So, I was trying to, like, not react loudly and talk a lot. Um, let's see, that, that was, that was a lot of information. Because, like, we yeah. knew nothing, so basically all of it was, like, what were all those new names? to us. All the names. Um, I don't know, I missed... I missed the uh, name of the continent. It sounded like autumn or something like that. Mm, Didn't go back. Yeah, okay, I'll go back and listen to it. This remnant's second largest land mass, Ottoman. Um, Ottoman? Yeah. Like Ottoman Empire? I suppose. <laughs> I don't know. He, he, like, the way Crow talks, like, sometimes he, like, slurs his words, obviously, because he's, like, oh, drunk man. all the time. Drunk, drunk all the time. But, um, yeah, so... That continent it has like a whole bunch of different types of geographies, like um, there's like the snowy part and like grasslands and then like mountains and then there's this weird like reddish part over there. I think that has like volcanoes or something, because if you look at a more like detailed um, like geographical map, you see like um, like land features a lot more. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is kind of like a conceptual map, but okay. Um, what did you think of this World of Remnant video? It's interesting. I hope they go there. I mean, I think that's where Haven is, right? So they're going there right now. Yeah. Team Ranger. So they're good people and bad people, and they have a black market, but they're really cultural too. One common thread Sorry, I'm just trying to find the names of the towns. So they had like airships and like lived in the cliffs or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There was like a lot of information in this. Places like Windpath, Kuchinashi, start. Windpath and, and Kuchinashi. Interesting. 
Interesting. Very different names. Yeah. <laughs> Kuchinashi. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I, I think I have to like watch this again and like process it and stuff like that. Um, so, okay. So like the, the wealthier people and like high, higher class, middle class, I guess, they have like lots of cultural things about them. Mm -hmm. um, like they do theater and architecture and fashion, things like that. And then the like the Merchant lower class. classes, what? Merchant class. Mercantile system. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then like the people at the bottom, they like engage in like the black market. Yeah. And they're all really shady and things like that. Um, let's see. I I really like the art style in these videos because it's like different and it's very like abstract. I mean, it's not like that abstract, but you get where I'm going with that. Mm -hmm. So these people really love nature. I like that because like their island like has so much water around it and like there's a big like water body inside of it and there's so many different types of geographies mm -hmm. so that's good what else talk about something me yeah it's cool that lives in the cliffs they live in the cliffs uh-huh mm -hmm. what else i don't know you you watch the video don't you have any comments on it just absorbing it <laughs> uh-huh Hmm, so do you think, like, Team Ranger was going to one of those two other towns? Or, like, in the Volume 4 character short, w were they, like, going into the one of those extra towns? Because it looked like a small town they were fighting. Oh, maybe. I mean, they wouldn't have mentioned them if they're not going to be somewhat important. That's, that's true. Like, the Atlas Swarm comes out later today. This is, like, so much world building. I'm so... I, I don't know what to do with all of this information. I'm just really hyped about Volume 4. So if, if these are continents, mm -hmm. why are there so few cities on them? Or do they only mention some of them? I mean, they're not going to have time to go through all the cities, and, like, not all the cities are going to be important yeah. at some time. And then, like, also, like, unless you have a really big city, which is, like, the main city of the kingdom, it's really hard to defend yourself from grim attacks mm -hmm. if you don't have all the fancy technology and stuff that the, that the main cities have. So did you like this video? Mm-hmm. Are you excited to watch more? Yes. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.